Welcome back, all you fabricated flashbacks to the super, not funny show, reviews. And today, we are reviewing Abbott Elementary Season 2, Episode 5, entitled Juice, coming to you from ABC Streaming on Hulu. So, what did I think about it, and should you be watching? The new episode of Abbott Elementary is called Juice, and no, it's not an homage to a 90s uh, <laughs> inner city drama but in fact, this is about juice boxes and what they do to the bladders of uh, little kids. And also, uh, it's, it is about uh, how Melissa is dealing with her new helper, her teacher's aide. Doesn't seem to be helping so much. Uh, the A story, of course, being about, uh, you know, how Janine, she's so gung-ho about everything. And she's so excited about these new two-ounce bigger juice boxes. And the crazy uh, amount of peeing that the kids have to do because of that uh, versus Barbara, who's old school and doesn't want to change anything because why bro fix what's not broken. Uh, and so uh, within that context, uh, uh, her and uh, Janine and Gregory's classes are just, you know, having to pee a lot to the point that uh, and everybody, all the kids are that's getting the new juice and they, they gradually deplete all of the functioning uh, you know, all of the functioning bathrooms in the school. And it's really a clash of old school versus new school in the most hilarious ways. I mean, bathroom humor never fails to be fun. Uh, but I think what we see here for a change is uh, sort of uh, something we don't really see much from Barbara. Uh, just a bit of a, a bit of a mean streak. Uh, and she actually raises her voice and uh, she's really that, uh, you know, upset and stern mom, I guess you could say, where she's literally telling Jean, like, you know, why are you trying to, you know, change things that are already fine? And it's it's really a lesson for Janine about, you know, when innovation or change is necessary or not. But it all comes together uh, in uh, some real fun moments wherein the um, uh, wherein the classes are, you know, lined up and everything. And there's this funny little boy that. Clearly, he's the one that's breaking all the toilets and everything like that. Uh, it's quite fun. And also, just, uh, again, I feel like this is the growing of Janine and, and Barbara's relationship. Uh, in, in a way, that's, you know, in, in real conflict. Uh, Janine having to admit that she was wrong. But also Barbara that maybe she, you know, she didn't have anyone there to mentor her, but maybe she could have uh, taken a more active role in mentoring the young, uh, younger, younger teachers. And it all culminates in a real fun bit where, in which Barbara beats the heck out of a, the last working toilet so that they can actually get the city to come in um, to fix stuff. Uh, there's a lot of fun st gags in there, too, of course, you know, the janitor being hilarious within it. Um, so that was cool. The, the B part with uh, Melissa trying to deal with her teacher's aide, who is just, let's just say, uh, fails to stay on task at all times and they're really not connecting and she's you know more disruptive to the class than any of the kids were and uh, she's just losing her mind uh, to the point where she actually surprise surprise asks Ava for help and Ava ends up being a big fan of the teacher's aid too because she's a big fan of Ava uh, and has bought stuff from her I think that was a hilarious part where she jumps in and she's you know Ava's instead of working she's you know, she's online trying to sell some of her clothes and everything. Uh, fun stuff. As usual, Ava is hilarious. Uh, and she's no help whatsoever. Uh, and instead, Jacob ends up, you know, just basically telling uh, Melissa that, you know, you've got to connect with her. But in the meantime, you know, all of the the fun stuff that the uh, teacher's aide is doing, it's, it's definitely got the kids' attention. And Melissa realizing that she just didn't really look at, her as like a colleague or someone she needed to get to know and that maybe she needed to change that change her teaching style up it's her, and this episode really seems to be about the old school uh you know old school teachers you know maybe having to lighten up or or change up a little bit or maybe just uh give the younger uh teachers or teachers aid a chance uh in in this context so uh overall i i had a good time with this episode it's not my favorite episode of the season uh, but I had a good time with it. There's a lot of good and funny moments. Uh, I was really kind of surprised, but I shouldn't be that Cheryl Lee Ralph as Barbara. Uh, she really pulled off the Barbara as not, not funny, but definitely 
you know, angry uh, and, uh, you know, kind of showing it. Uh, but also, she, you know, when she softens up that, you know, she's a great, just a great uh, colleague and friend to uh, Janine and other uh, teachers. And Melissa, of course, very, very much the same. You know, she's uh, kind of realizing that maybe her, her style, not her style of teaching, but her style of interacting doesn't quite work as well and that she can, you know, get something out of her teacher's aid if she would just come, you know, uh, approach her in a different way. I liked it a lot. Uh, overall, uh, pretty good episode, and uh, I definitely uh, enjoyed it. So uh, what did you guys think about it? What did you think about what I had to say? Get down to the comment section and leave your thoughts there. And, of course, you can always hit me up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnyshow one on Twitter. And do your boy a favor, get down there, uh, hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell. All that good stuff helps out with the algorithm. Really appreciate it. All right, all you Fabric in the Fleshbacks, come back next week. Going to be reviewing Episode 6 of Abbott Elementary. Until then, I've been Mo Poupe, resident Fabric and comment extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace. <laughs>